I was so excited to get my new vest through the mail. Definitely came in a speedy delivery manner. Opening it was like Christmas for me. When I do a lot of research on something before I get it, it's just great when you put your hands on it and it looks just like you thought it would. So my first impression of the turkey vest is a 10 out of 10 by it sitting up on its own and doing the full walkthrough before actually putting it on was just really cool to do. I decided to pull out my turkey collars, some shells, and definitely put them inside to see if there's enough room for everything, and there was. So I grabbed some turkey gear and put it on and decided to actually try the vest out with it. I like to really get a full scope of what I'm investing in, and I definitely recommend always putting on your gear so you know how it feels when you are actually trying out something new like the vest. I like to do different angles with my gunshots just so I can feel how the actual stand is holding well. And also I used all of my collars, tried them all out, see how fast I could get to them. I was able to fit my nine millimeter Hellcat inside of the vest, which is really nice. So I put away everything and I wanted to see how easy it was to stand up without feeling as if I was gonna fall. And I must say it was very simple. Also, I love how the seat does not feel uncomfortable when you're walking, it hits just right. I highly recommend that when you get new gear that you go outside and actually try it out in the weather. You wanna make sure that it's a nice clear day, stretch in it, move in it, and I like to just do this because you buy something, you may not like it, so always keep the tag on it just in case you need to take it back. This particular outfit will be perfect for spring conditions. I wanted to show you some of my decoys that I'm gonna be using for the 24 season. Uh, the first one is the Dakota decoy. This is the Jake. It is no longer being produced. I'm hoping this company comes back to life at some point. I love this decoy. I've killed a lot of birds over it. Um, it basically is a situation where you can have a tie down underneath it and the tie down allows you to insert the stake directly to it. And rather than having a 360 degree turn of a bird, which is unnatural, this only allows a 180 to 270 and then it rotates back. So I really like that even if a bird was to see this in high wind, they would not be nervous about it. They would see it as a natural situation because the bird can't do circles or spins. The second decoy I'm gonna show you is the Dakota feeding hen. She works really well with the Dakota Jake, or you can use it by itself. Um, the color is just really pretty. I like it because it does have a different texture than the Avian X lighter. It also has that cord underneath it, so you can have the 270 or 180 turn in normal wind conditions. And it does actually look like it's moving forwards and backwards um, as you uh, tilt it. So I really like the design. I really wish this company would come back to life um, so others can get it. I will put a link in here where I was able to find it. All right, let's talk about the Avian X. My first Avian X is the feeder hen. Now this is the first generation of the Avian X. I still love this hen because it's very large. A lot of people don't like large decoys. I'll tell you why I do. I like the largeness of this decoy because I'm able to utilize it as a mother hen. When a gobbler sees this hen, they immediately come into it because they believe that she is the boss. I know there used to be one called the boss hen. I feel like Avian X created one when they had this one out and I still use it. The next decoy is the laydown hen. This works really well in low grass conditions. If you're dealing with tall grass or veggies, it's gonna be difficult for the gobbler to see it. But when you have low cut grass or you're in a field with no type of veggies, perfect. The last decoy I have here is the lookout hen. She works really well in tall grass conditions. Gobblers can see her from a distance. 
I do like that they put the legs on the newer models of the Avian X. My next thing I'm going to purchase is the HDR version of the feeder hen. So I hope you enjoyed my walkthrough of my birds. Um, hopefully you will be able to get some of these into your collection. Always leave a message. Let me know what you think about the decoys I've showed you today. God bless. Happy hunting. And I'll see you in the woods. Peace.